in this English lesson, I wanted to help you learn the English phrase for the birds. When we say something is for the birds, we I mean that it's useless or that it has no worth. I guess I could say that it's worthless. When you say, hey, that English lesson the other day, that was for the birds, that would mean that you thought the English lesson wasn't very good, it wasn't very valuable, you didn't get a lot out of it. It's not a nice thing to say necessarily when you say something is for the birds because you're basically saying you don't like it and it's worthless. I watched a TV show the other day and you know, honestly, it was for the birds. It wasn't very well put together. It was kind of confusing actually and it just wasn't very useful to me. So I would say that that TV show was for the birds. The other phrase or term I wanted to teach you today is the term bird brain. This is something that means that someone isn't very smart. You could say that bird brain means that you are dumb or stupid. I usually use this word to talk about myself. Uh, the other day I lost my keys and I'm such a bird brain. My keys ended up being in my coat pocket. I had put my jacket on instead of my winter coat and I couldn't find my keys. I'm such a bird brain though. I usually put my keys in my pocket. They were just in my other jacket. So I was a bit of a bird brain. So I guess I can use this term. It's a bit of an insult to talk about myself, but I would be a little worried about using it to talk about other people because they might feel insulted. So to review, when something is for the birds, it means it is useless. It means it has no value. It means it is worthless. And then when you call yourself a bird brain, you're simply saying that you're not being very smart in that moment. Hey, let's look at a comment from a previous video. This comment is from Mode Eggs. I've asked Mr. Bob to show us Oscar's house a couple of times. And although each time he said he'd show it in the next video, he never did. I just commented yesterday that Mr. Bob has never disappointed me, but I guess there's a first time for everything. Eduardo then says, it's always a pleasure to see you here, my friend Mode Eggs. Nice to see community in the comments, very cool. And then my response, haha, I keep forgetting. In my defense, it's been quite wet where his house is. So Oscar does have a house, definitely Mode Eggs. And I know I promised, actually, it might've been two or three times I promised to show his house in a video and there it is. He does not use his house very often. In fact, the house is way out here in the flower field because Oscar really only uses his house in the summer. Let's take a bit of a closer look at it. Um, he uses it because he likes the shade. So it's actually a little bit wet inside right now. We have to clean it out and put some dry straw in it. It's actually, it's a luxury doghouse. It's actually insulated. So I think it definitely stays extra cool in the summer. It keeps the heat of the sun out. Uh, but that is Oscar's doghouse. And as I mentioned, I don't know if you can hear this. Let's listen. Maybe I should show you this as well. It is very muddy outside. I'm not sure if I'm giving you a good view, but out here, <laughs> I'm probably making, I'm probably making all of you very, very dizzy right now, but it is uh, very wet out in the flower field. So it was difficult to come out here. Although uh, Mode Eggs did ask me to show it to you way back in the winter when it was all frozen out here. So I should have done that. But hey, you know, I'm getting old. It slipped my mind. Uh, there's things that I just don't remember sometimes, but uh, it is fun to uh, be reminded. So thanks for that, Mode Eggs. Uh, anyways, I'll see you in a few days with another short English lesson. And uh, thank you so much for watching this one. Let's take one more look. There's his house, but Oscar is nowhere to be seen.